the automobile market were a neighborhood potluck, Toyota would always be invited. It may not always serve the spiciest or most interesting dishes, but what Toyota brings to the party usually satisfies the masses. And the refreshed 2017 Highlander and Highlander Hybrid are the baked chicken and mashed potatoes of the automotive world. For 2017, however, Toyota has added a bit more spice to the recipe in the form of more powerful and efficient V6 and hybrid powertrains, while also updating the popular SUV styling. It even cooked up a new variation in the form of the Highlander SE. Big Primping The Highlander's newfound style starts with a redesigned front end, with rearranged headlamp innards, including curved LED accents on SE, Limited and limited platinum models, and perhaps the widest grille outside of a Peterbilt. All Highlanders use new LED tail lamps, while limited and platinum models add chrome ring reflectors to their bumpers. The SC model looks more sinister, well, as sinister as a Highlander can look, with darkened body accents for the grille, headlamp surrounds, and roof rails, along with 19-inch wheels. Interior changes are less obvious. All models now have a 4.2-inch color display between the gauges as well as a slew of USB ports, 3 in front and 2 in back, enough to satiate numerous smartphones and tablets. Top shelf limited platinum models sport new forward grim, while SE models instead use accents with a dark technical pattern. All models except for the SC now can be ordered with the 8-passenger seating, meaning a second row bench, the SC must make due with 7 seats, its leather-covered captain's chair is adorned with a striped ribbon in the cushions. At least as appealing to the Highlander's family totem clientele, we suspect, will be the standard fitment of the Toyota Safety Sense driver assistance features on all versions. This includes adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning with pedestrian detection and automated emergency braking, lane departure alert, lane keeping assist, and automatic high beams. Blind spot monitoring comes on all but the base lift. Better 6. The other news for the 2017 Highlander involves its engine, Toyota's port and direct injected V6, known by engine code Geeks as 2GRFKS. It brings an extra helping of horsepower and improved fuel economy to both V6 and hybrid models. The V6, now common to hybrid and non-hybrid models, is capable of running the Atkinson cycle, although the hybrid uses the more efficient engine cycle more frequently. All produce the same 295 horsepower at 6,600 revolutions per minute and 263 pounds to foot of to work at 4,700 revolutions per minute, increases of 25 horsepower and 15 pounds to foot of to work over the previous V6. The hybrid's front and rear electric motors bring its total system output to 306 horsepower, versus the previous 280. The availability of the hybrid also is expanded to the LA and XLE in addition to the pricier limited and limited platinum trims. Fuel economy ratings increase just as significantly. Thanks to a new 8-speed automatic, the non-hybrid ZPA city ratings increase from 18 AWD and 19 miles per gallon FWD to 19 and 21, and highway numbers increase by 2 miles per gallon to 26 and 27 for 2017. Hybrids, which continue to use electronically controlled variable drive ratios, now are rated at 30 miles per gallon city and 28 highway for the models and 29 27 of a mile per gallon for XLE trim levels and above. The Bass 2.7-liter four-cylinder engine with 185 horsepower and 184 pounds to foot of toward carries over unchanged with front-wheel drive only and a six-speed automatic transmission. Only 7% of Highlanders are sold with the 4-banger, according to a Toyota spokesman, and that take rate is bound to drop further with the introduction of the improved V6, especially given the 4-banger's disappointing fuel economy of 20 miles per gallon city and 24 highway. Since this was merely our first drive and not an instrumented test, we'll have to wait to see how much the new V6S added muscle improves acceleration times.
We can say, however, that powering the 2017 Highlander away from a stoplight or overtaking a Winnebago on a country two-lane isn't much more exciting than before. Acceleration is robust if not blistering, appropriately quick for an eight-passenger SUV. The cathedral-grade quietness that envelops the cabin when cruising yields to a somewhat coarse, baritone rumble under full acceleration, as with the previous V6. In the hybrid, the engine seemed much quieter during our brief drive, and the stop-start system that is now standard on all Highlanders is virtually undetectable. Familiar Dynamics As before, winding roads will have the Highlander listing from side to side, although less so in the SC model with its stiffer springs and retuned dampers. Brakes on the non-hybrid models inspire confidence but the hybrid exhibited the same non-linearity that we've noted in this model previously, as the Onagy recuperation system transitions the mechanical braking. It also had a disconcerting to work steer issue. Toyota engineers attributed this to calibration of the electrically assisted power steering system in the pre-production example we drove, its anti to work steer logic had not yet been finalized, they said. It should be fixed before the hybrid reaches showrooms. The 2017 Highlander goes on sale in November, with final pricing to be announced soon. Given the price sensitivity of many Highlander customers, we don't expect 2017 prices to rise much from 2016 levels. The 2016 Highlander starts at $31,430 for the baselift four-cylinder and rises to $44,470 for the limited platinum V6. Hybrid models currently cost about $7,000 more than their V6 counterparts. With the hybrid powertrain being made available on the lower trims, however, the price of entry into a Highlander hybrid will be much lower than before. We'll see whether that entices more families to try that greener dish, or whether they stick with a new and improved mainstream recipe. Recipe.